and the rate's going to be fixed during that time period and whatnot, then you might be able to use an annuity calculation, for example, a present value of an annuity, rather than taking each item as a present value of one. In other words, you could think of, for example, a series of payments that you're trying to bring back to the current period as present value of an annuity, or you could just take each one of them as present value of one and bring them back to the current period individually. The present value of an annuity will be much faster of a calculation if using mathematical formulas to do it. But note that once we put in the, the factor of Excel into the equation, then Excel can kind of put these together or any spreadsheet, Google Sheets and whatnot, uh, can put these together a little bit more easily and actually having a series of present values of one might be useful. So then it kind of converts when you would use one or the other uh, to like if you're using a book problem it's going to be quite clear that they're going to say if it's set up as an annuity they probably want you to use an annuity and you want to make them happy so you're going to use whatever formula they use in practice then there might be some situations where you would want to use an annuity or not an annuity possibly not based simply on the ease of the math because now you have a spreadsheet to do it but rather in terms of how much information it would provide to you and or how easy it would be to present that information to others. Your goal is to sort the information out in such a way that it provides the most information and is as presentable uh, as possible. So, but those are your options. And, and then you can have, then as you work through the problems, you actually have a, between these options, you could have some different different kind of ways that you can come out to the same number and show the same information. We will work multiple different examples and show multiple different ways that you can calculate these. Also, just realize that if you're working a book problem, the incentive is for you to understand these calculations and the relationships. They might emphasize the math to make you to get you to know the math, or they might not as 